today we're gonna be making the best Turkish pide at home. It's also known as Turkish pizza. I'm gonna be showing you a few variations for topping, but you can really stuff them with anything you like. Let's get started. We're gonna start by making the dough. I add a cup of warm milk and a cup of warm water into the mixing bowl. The best temperature for activating the yeast is between 35 to 40 degrees C, 95 to 104 Fahrenheit. Now we need to add sugar to help the activation process. For that I add 2 teaspoons of sugar in it and give it a mix. Add a tablespoon of instant yeast. If you prefer you can use dry yeast instead. If you're not sure the temperature of the liquid, just simply dip your finger in it. If it doesn't burn you after 5 seconds, it means that it's warm enough. If you use dry yeast, wait a few minutes to activate the yeast in this step before adding the other ingredients. Now I add 2 tablespoons of sunflower oil and a teaspoon of salt. Give it a mix. Then add 4 cups of flour at first and knead it for 5 minutes by stand mixer, 10 minutes by hand. Whenever I make it, this recipe takes 4.5 cups of flour in total, but this amount may change according to your flour, so add 4 cups flour at first, and then if it is still sticking to the bowl, then add the rest of the flour gradually. Too much flour will cause a dry based pide, which is something that we don't want. The dough is still sticky, so I'm gonna add a bit more flour in it. As you can see, it's still sticking at the bottom of the bowl. I'm gonna add the rest of the flour. Your dough should be like this, smooth, soft and non-sticky. Cover it with cling wrap or with a lid and let the yeast activate in a warm environment for about 45 minutes to an hour until the dough is doubled in size. In the meantime, let's prepare some toppings. First, I'm gonna chop a large onion. Drizzle a bit of sunflower oil into the saucepan and cook the onion until it softens. Pide bakes so quickly, there won't be time for the onion to cook inside, that's why we're cooking the onion first. I have almost 250 grams of ricotta cheese here. I'm just gonna add half of the cooked onion and half of the onion will be going into the spinach filling. I also have some dill here, I freeze and use it as needed. Dill goes so well with ricotta cheese, so I'm gonna chop some and put the rest of the dill back in the freezer. And this goes in our cheese topping, some paprika, some black pepper and mix it well. For the spinach topping, I'm going to chop about 250 grams of baby spinach. Now I'm going to take these into the saucepan that I cooked onion, drizzle a bit of sunflower oil and I'm gonna cook this just to loosen the spinach a bit. I wanna add a bit of paprika, black pepper and mix it. The dough is ready. Before we start making the pides, preheat the oven to 230 degrees C, 440 Fahrenheit and line the trays with baking paper. Dust the working surface with flour to prevent the dough sticking to the surface. First I'm gonna knead the dough roughly to burst the air bubbles that have formed in the dough. Then I'll divide the dough into small pieces. It's so much easier working on small pieces. Now I'll knead each piece by pressing with my palm to burst all the air bubbles. Then I'll shape them into balls like this. Cover them with a tea towel so they won't dry out. If you rest this for about 5 minutes, you can roll them more easily. But I'm not gonna wait for it now, I'm just gonna start from the first bowl that I made. 
If you keep rolling up and down like this, it'll take its oval shape. As we're not making bread, we should roll it thin. Traditionally, pide is baked in hot stone ovens and there isn't milk in the recipe. Sometimes we need to play around with the recipe to get the same texture. Since we don't have a hot stone oven at home, we add milk in the dough, therefore we'll have the perfect thin and soft paste pita. If the rolled out dough doesn't fit into the tray, you can just cut them like this and add the leftover dough to the other bowls before rolling it out. I'll spread the cheese topping on these pides. One basic difference between Turkish pide and Italian pizza is tomato sauce actually. Turkish pide can be prepared with many toppings but doesn't have a tomato sauce under the cheese. Now fold the sides in. And pinch the ends together to seal. I'm gonna brush some egg yolk on the edges. I whisk the egg yolk with a teaspoon of milk, this way it's easier to brush and makes it shinier. These can go into the oven. I'm gonna bake them for about 15 minutes until they are slightly colored around the edges. I wanna make these pides smaller. I'm just gonna cut this ball into half and roll it up and down to give an oval shape. If you sprinkle some flour on the top while rolling, you can roll easier and thinner. Apart from ricotta cheese and spinach mixture, here I have some chopped mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, sliced black olives and sliced tomatoes. I'll make few combinations with them. I'm gonna spread ricotta topping on these pides and sprinkle a bit of mozzarella on top. This one will be with mozzarella and mushroom. If you find that it's opening like this, you can pleat that part and tidy up. This one will be with spinach, tomato and egg, but we're not gonna add the egg at this stage. First we'll bake this for 7 minutes, then take it out from the oven, add the egg and bake for another 7 minutes. Once they are baked, butter all around the edges which will soften it. I wanna slice it for you so that you can see how thin and soft it is. I hope you'll enjoy, see you in the next delightful recipe. Cheers!